Hello friends, in this video I am going to talk about MC6800. MC6800 is a microprocessor which is manufactured by Motorola. In this video I am going to discuss about some of the main features that MC6800 have and I will describe about the pins. So let's start the video. So MC6800 is 8-bit monolithic microprocessor. So it can process 8-bit of data and monolithic means on the single Weber this microprocessor is designed. It has 40 pins. Some of the important features of MC6800 are following. It can process 8 bit of data parallelly. The data bus of this microprocessor is bi directional. The address bus of this microcontroller is of 60 bit, 16 bit, sorry, which has 64K memory. The instructions, it has 72 variable length instructions. It has seven addressing mode, which are direct, relative, immediate, indexed, extended, implied, and accumulator. The length of this stack of this microprocessor can be varied. It has six internal register. These registers are used to store data inside the microprocessor. The bus interface of this microprocessor is simple and it is without TTL. TTL stands for transistor transistor logic. The clock frequency of this microprocessor is 2 megahertz so it is pretty fast. The power supply which is required to operate uh, is 5 volt DC for this microprocessor. In the next slide I am going to describe about the pins. So the here VSS this microprocessor has two VSS pin which is first number pin and 21st number pin. So the microprocessor MC6800 has two VSS pin which is on first and 21st. VSS stands for voltage source supply voltage source supply pin should always connect it to ground so the other pin which is on 8 which is 8 number pin that is VCC VCC stands for voltage common collector this pin should be connected to 5 volt DC supply now the second pin which is HALT. HALT is a sensitive level sensitive pin. Level sensitive pin means there are certain voltage which are described by the microprocessor. If the instructions have more voltage than the decided voltage then this Halt pin will be operated. Suppose microprocessor uh, level is set to 5 voltage. Level is set to 5 voltage. If we provide input more than this 5 volt voltage, then it will be considered as high. And if we will provide less voltage, then 5 voltage then it should be low so if halt is low that is 0 then the microprocessor will stop working it will be halted and if it is equal to 1 then the microprocessor will start executing the instructions so these are the function of halt pin now we on the pin number 3 we have 
phase one phase one is on three and phase two is on 37 these are the clock phase one and clock phase two these are non overlapping clocks that runs on the VCC voltage level so these are the two clock levels that are present in the microprocessor and these two clocks never overlap each other so in this slide we have learned first pin and 21st pin is VSS pin second pin is halt pin third pin and 37th pin is phase pin VCC is on pin number 8 now moving to the next slide so we have IRQ at 4 so pin number 4 is for IRQ pin number 4 is an input pin and IRQ stands for interrupt request it is a maskable interrupt it means it is software interrupt it requests an interrupt sequence generation within the machine so when when input is high then the interrupt request will generate a sequence of interruption when the interrupt request will happen the halt pin the halt pin of this microprocessor should be in high state it should be 1 if halt is equal to 1 then IRQ will be operate now at pin number 5 we have VMA VMA stands for valid memory address it is an output pin valid it validate on the address bus whether the bus is address bus or the address bus is present or not the VMA pin will be give output now on the pin number six we have NMI NMI stands for non maskable interrupt non maskable interrupt is hardware interrupt it is hardware interrupt it is as sensitive input so in this slide we have learned about interrupt request which is on pin number four then we learn about VMA which is on pin number five and then we learn about NMI which is on pin number six now moving to the next slide after that we have on pin number seven we have BA BA stands for bus available normally it is a, it is on low state and when it is in low state the microprocessor has stopped and the address bus will be available normally when the microprocessor is in working state the BA will be low but when uh, this BA will be high it means the microprocessor has stopped and the address bus is available it will give information that microprocessor has stopped his work and the address bus of this microprocessor is available now after that we have I have already discussed about VCC which is on pin number 8 now from pin number 9 to 20 and 22 to 25 have address bus so we have 16 address bus which is for 16 bit 
So we have 16 address bus. This microcontroller has 16 address bus. This address bus has three state mode. TSC stands for three state control. It has three state mode. When TSC, when this pin, which is on pin number 39, is high, is 1, then the address bus or uh, the address bus of this microcontroller uh, can drive a standard transistor transistor load and 90 picofarad capacitor. When the address bus of this uh, microcontroller is open, then it is turned off. When the circuit is open, then it means uh, the micro, the address bus of this microprocessor is off. When the address bus is in uh, off state, then the microprocessor can be used for direct memory access. When the address bus of this microcontroller, microprocessor, sorry, when the address bus of this microprocessor is in off state, then this microprocessor unit can be used for direct memory access. So in this slide we will learn, we have learned about the bus available which is on pin number 7 and then we have studied about address bus which start from pin number 9 to 20 and 22 to 25. So let's start to the next slide. So after the address bus from pin number 26 to 33 we have data bus after address bus from pin number 26 to 20 26 to 33 we have data bus the data bus of this microprocessor is bidirectional it means we can send or receive data from peripheral device which are connected to the microprocessor. The data bus has three state output buffer which are capable of driving standard transistor transistor logic and 130 picofarad capacitor. The data bus will be in three state when DBE is low. This data bus will be operate in three state mode when the DBE of this microprocessor will be low. Now at pin number 34 we have read and write. 34 pin is for read and write. So this pin has a dual function. It can read data from the memory as well as it can write data on the memory. It is an output pin and it is compatible with the transistor transistor logic. When this pin is high then it, it means it is reading data from the memory and when this pin is low it means it is writing data on the memory. At a steady state this pin will be always high. It means it always read data from the memory. So in this slide we have learned about data bus which is from pin number 26 to 33 and we have learned about read and write pin which is 34th. Now moving to the next slide. So uh, we have studied that for data bus, data bus will be goes into three state when DBE will be low. So now, NC here, the 35th, 35th pin is NC. It means this pin will be not connected to anything. 
35 and 38 will be not connected to anything nc stands for not connection not connected or not connection 36 number pin is for dbe dbe stands for data bus enabled it is also compatible with transistor transistor logic it is an input pin input is a three state control sign for the microprocessor the input the input of this data bus is is a sign of three control signal for the microprocessor as i have discussed that when the db is low then the data bus will be goes into the three state mode so third point is it enable bus driver in high state so in when dbe when dbe will be higher then it will enable the bus driver in the low state it enable dma when dbe is equal to 0 then the microprocessor will act like uh, in that case uh, it act like data management access direct memory access sorry it enable the direct memory access application now at pin number 39 we have three state control tsc three state control this line is a uh, uh, always placed in high impedance state so when the tsc is equal to 1 the address bus the address bus and the read and write pin is uh, is goes into high state mode and vma and ba are forced low to prevent false read or write on any device enabled by vma so when three state control logic will be equal to one then the address bus and read and write bus will be a one and the other pin which are vma and ba will be low now the last pin is 40 number pin which is reset pin reset pin is an input pin and it is level sensitive input pin it is used to reinitialize the microprocessor unit it means it is used to restart the microprocessor when it will stuck uh, due to some due to some interruptions reset equal to high microprocessor will begin the restart sequence and it took approx 8 clock cycle so i have discussed all the important features all the important function of the micro microprocessor mc6800 so if you have any query then comment down below i hope you like this video if you like then like it share it and comment down below thank you so much